I'm Mike LaPointe, and I have the Destroyer van. <laughs> no, um, this is a 77 Dodge van. I uh, bought it for $450. It was on, uh, in Canada, we have Kijiji, kind of like your Craigslist. And I was in high school, and I saw it on the internet. Guy showed me in my class, and I used a girl's cell phone to call the ad. And called my mom and dad, said, we have to go pick this up. And that night, it was in our driveway on a car trailer. So thank you, mom and dad. And it was rough. It was really rough had running boards on it the flares were starting to fall off the paint was pretty rough there was some rust holes on it here and there um, but it was pretty much what you see so the teardrops the roof rack all that the accessories these are the original mirror covers on it everything was on it um, I've changed out tires I've had to do some work along the door bottoms I had a friend mold in my flares for me um, he did the, all the one piece which don't ever do that again <laughs> I will I've learned my lesson not to mold the fiberglass on um, but that's the thing I drive this thing I have a lot of fun with it it's not it's not the it's not the best pristine vehicle out there but I get around with it and I definitely am not afraid to drive it and I really enjoy it it's the best $450 investment ever I will say that can't ever sell it um, and yeah I'll probably drive it into the ground as bad as that sounds yeah it's a good time. It's a really good time. And you dominated in the... In the, in the burnout contest. Yep. Um, right, coming up. That'll be at the end of the video. I will say that uh, while I'm here, mom and dad helped me out with this. Um, I got into van and kind of sort of on my own. I don't really know how it happened. Uh, just as a little kid growing up, you'd see that cool... There's just that one van that stuck in my mind. And I grew up going to car shows and watching Dukes of Hazard with grandpa. And I always wanted a van and I don't know why, but the one stuck in my head and I was like, it was always there, vans. So, um, but now I've been driving this and I've met people over it. I've gone to van or funerals. I totally understand all of that. Um, and because of somebody else, my mom and dad now have a van that I gave them, kind of, sort of. Um, when I was 16, we pulled a van out of a barn, that's theirs. And I had that one first and then I found this and I thought, mm, I wanted to spend more focus and time on this one. So now they have theirs and they just drove it to Prince Edward Island. They're having a ton of fun. It's just something that doesn't happen very often where the kid brings his parents into it. And then now my sister just drove her 77 Dodge to the Nats here. So yeah, we're, she's just grinning from ear to ear. So it's hilarious. But, but now I can step back a little bit and kick my feet up and watch everyone else have fun because I've been there and it's, I've done it. I can speak on that. So. When, when kind of restoring this, uh, you can see in some of the spots where some airbrush work has been done and the clear is starting to go on the original stuff that was not touched up. So you can tell where it's clean, where the original paint is, where the original paint is, where it's been redone. But I will say that 85, 90% of this is the original paint on it. And it was done by Ivan Benick back in 78. The original owner lives 15 minutes from my house and I gave him the keys one day. He got to drive it around. He was happier than something I can't say. But um, <laughs> no, he, uh, let me see. I'll say that he was, he was in high school in 1977 and he saw the movie, The Van, and he wanted a van and he wanted a maxi. They didn't have any on the lot. So he settled for a shorter wheelbase, but that's why it's got the mirror covers like the van in the movie. It had the same style visor. I think that van had a visor, possibly. Um, he, no, he had the mud flap style flares and he had the same style C-shaped couch in the back behind the driver's seat kind of deal. Um, and that van played a huge influence on this one, but he was gonna just get it painted green and he went to the body shop and met Ivan and Ivan was like, well, no, don't just paint it green, I'll paint it for you. So when he went back at the end of the weekend or the following week, this is what he had and that was his and it's just, it's cool to know that the original, when I let him take it for a ride, he was like, man, never, never in his wildest dreams he thought 35 years later he'd be driving his old van that he had in high school and saved up working all summer to, Ford, like, to paint, the, paint the mural on it in 78. So that was pretty cool seeing him doing that. So, but um, and yeah, Ivan's here and it's good to see him always. So Ivan lives 15 minutes from my house so I can visit him all the time so he sees it around so it's it's cool just to keep the history of it and preserve it for what it is now so
No, so with this, every time I go to a car wash, the clear does peel off a little bit more. And I know that I should wet sand it and re-clear it, but you know, I'm having too much fun with it for that. So I know a lot of people will be upset for me saying that, but the thing is, is I've already wet sanded it once. And you can see where I kind of went through a little bit of Ivan's layers and you got some of the old purples that he used in behind some of the clouds and how I went a little too far and a friend of mine kind of just gave it a little brush in. But you can see just the different layers of paint. So it's one of those things where do I really want to wet sand it and re-clear it and wet sand it and re-clear it or do I want to continue to just drive it and have fun with it while it's this. Um, so it's kind of, I'm still having fun. I haven't really figured that out just yet, but uh, I have been talking to Ivan and we want to do something with it. So, and he still wants to, he's all for it. So I'm okay with it. You can see Ivan's old signature there, 78. And it's Ghost Inn, it says at F&J Collision, which is still a body shop on Tecumseh Road in Windsor, Ontario. And you can go there, you can sit in their office and look at old pictures of this in their office and their old photo albums, some of, the, some of the stuff they used to do, so. But yeah, and this is just uh, Frank Frazetta. Um, I think it was Conan the Destroyer is the name of the actual pitcher, and the actual pitcher was ginormous with tons of guys' heads, it's very famous. And yeah, this was all done before Conan the Destroyer movie with Arnold, so this is the original. We always thought it looked like Ernest Borgnine kind of style face, but um, yeah, it's just, it's old school 70s. This is what it was back in the day. And this, right from this back panel, everything is all original, um, except for the bottom rocker, but the original paint job, all the little scratches in the mural is all, I'm sure this van was parked with a bunch of people's lawn chairs up against it at one time. People having fun, so. And that, but that's it, that's what it was and that's what it is, so. That's what it is to me, so. I, uh, I'd love to have a van where I can spend all day washing it and getting it ready but i'm getting real maybe i'm getting old yeah wait till it gets to be my age <laughs> so but no and then uh also had so these doors are the original but this has been re-airbrushed and repainted green this is the original paint down here that's all still dried up and cracked you can see there's a little bit of a difference in it but when we had to save some of this we had to blend in some of the new paints with the old murals so um, the purple back here, if you, we had to repaint a little bit of this corner, but if you just did this in a purple, it wouldn't match anything in here. So we just gave it a quick little bit here and there. So it didn't look like a complete fix. Um, it just turned out really nice. So it still has the original patina to it, but yeah. So, and the interiors are work in progress. So we won't go there and you guys will have to wait and see where, where that goes. Cause I haven't figured it out yet either. So. <laughs> Every time I see another van, I change my mind. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just wanted to get some of the important stuff out there. <laughs>